Ash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. It's 10.15 a.m. and the cats are eating their breakfast and looks like Simba's almost done. They're having a combination of homemade raw food and some of the Primal Raw Rabbit Nuggets. And there's Splash's plate when he saw the camera. He ran away from it. So he's on the other side of the room, but he'll come back. Here's Boo's plate. He's waiting for me to put some crunchies on it. There's Boo. Eat your food, Boo. Eat it. You like it. He's gonna walk upstairs. Oh, this is what he does. Let me show you what's going on here and how smart these cats are. So this is a green rug that I have outside of where the litter boxes are downstairs. And there's a bunch of litter tracked on it, and that's the purpose of it. So the cats climb out of the litter boxes, and they walk across this rug, and then it really helps uh, keep the litter contained, and it helps the litter from being tracked, um, like, all around the rooms down here. So I came downstairs today, and I saw this. Can you see that? So that is some cat grass. Someone ate some cat grass, and then they vomited up a hairball. And this is where they vomited it, on the rug that looks like grass. So I thought that was actually very smart of them um, because they thought they were doing a good job and just putting it where it needed to be. Here on the rug that looks like the grass, these are actually pretty easy to clean up if the mess goes down into the fibers of this rug. It's all like an artificial turf. So all I need to do is take it outside and kind of uh, beat all of the litter out of it and then hose it down and that cleans it up really well. Hello, Boo. How are you? Boo's hanging out on the cat tower by the window. But now that I'm walking around, he's walking around also, right, Boo? Here's Stella. Stella's hanging out near the penthouse. She was taking a nap in the penthouse, but when she heard me walking around, she came out and she's just hanging out up here. The reason why she's hanging out up here is because there's Splash. Splash is hanging out on top of the cat tower by an open window. It's a beautiful day today. It's going to be about 50 or 55 degrees out. So I have the window open. We're getting a bunch of fresh air and Splash is hanging out by it. And here's Simba. Simba's all stretched out on the bed or he was. He just moved when I put the camera on him. He's been taking a really nice nap in the breeze or in the fresh air. He's been enjoying that. I'm going to go outside and uh, work on cleaning up the patio. There's lots of uh, twigs and leaves and stuff. Uh, now that the snow is almost all melted, there's still some snow outside, but most of it is gone. I would say 90% of the snow is gone. There's still some there, though. So I'm going to go outside and clean up the patio for a while. Here's Hydrox. Hydrox has been laying here in the dirt. Uh, and getting some sun. That's the first crocus of the season. I haven't seen any yet this year. That's the first one. And here's Ditto. Ditto's hanging out on the patio. So when the weather starts warming up and the sun comes out, uh, the shelter that Ditto's been staying in, the custom shelter under the house, this shelter, uh, it gets really hot. So um, the other day it was 81 degrees inside of it. So right now it's probably pretty hot also. And uh, I don't think Ditto likes it when it's that hot, so he'd rather uh, lay out here in the sun uh, where it's a bit cooler.
It's 10.03 a.m. right now, and I'm just about to put some food out for Hydrax and Ditto. And I turned around and I saw Boo smelling Hydrax through the door. So I said, let me grab a camera. When I went outside today, all of the food that I put out for dinner yesterday, there was a big platter of canned food that I put out for dinner. It was all still there. No one ate it. So I threw it out and... They're going to get some canned food for breakfast today. I completely forgot to defrost raw food, um, so this morning I took some out for the inside cats. It's still um, getting warm. Um, it's still slightly frozen, and it's been a few hours. Um, but I'm going to give a can to Hydrax and Ditto. And they've also had some food out of the automatic feeder, and they've been laying in the sun because it's a beautiful day. It's 10.07 a.m. and I put out two plates of food. The exact same food is on both plates and this is what's going on. Hydrox and Ditto want to eat out of the same plate. I think Hydrox is a little mad that Ditto started eating on the plate. Hydrox can go over and eat from the other plate. Or actually I could go outside and move the other plate. I just came downstairs to get something and Stella and Splash were looking at me like they totally just got caught doing something. So I went back upstairs to get the camera and Stella is very aware of the camera. So the second, the second I turned the camera on, she moved. Because what was going on here is Stella and Splash, they're laying here with all their arms wrapped around each other. And then the two of them were like staring at me like, what are you doing down here? Why are you hissing, Splash? What's the matter, Splashy? What you doing? Did I wake you? How you doing, Splashy? How you doing today? It's a beautiful day. You want to go upstairs? You want to go upstairs and smell the air? It's 4.45 p.m. and I just put some food out for Hydrox and Ditto. This is some homemade raw food. Two scoops in each plate or bowl. One's a plate, one's a bowl. The minute that I put those plates out, Hydrox, who was laying by the side of the house, went running across the patio and he signaled for Ditto and Ditto showed up. So Hydrox, I mean, I don't know what goes on between cats, but literally Hydrox went to tell Ditto that there's food served. How you doing, Ditto? It is 9.25 a.m. and I just opened the window for Simba. It's wide open. There's a screen in it, of course, but he likes to smell the air. And now that the weather's getting warmer, I could open the window a lot more than I was during the winter. During the winter, I was only opening it like an inch or two or three, depending on how cold it was outside. I normally shut the heat off. Um, I would shut the heat off, then I would open the windows for the cats, just a little bit to get the air in. And then I would keep it that way until it just got too cold. When it got too cold, then I would say, okay guys, uh, we gotta shut the windows. And I would shut the windows and I would put the heat back on. And now that the weather's warming up, I could open the windows wider and keep the heat off longer, which is nice. So Simba's gonna smell the air for a while. What are you doing, Stella? Are you up to no good? Are you up to no good? Stella says, we don't wanna waste time smelling air out of a window. We wanna eat breakfast, right, Stella? Yeah, Stella says she wants to eat breakfast. Guess what? Today is fi Stella. Guess what today is, Stella? It's fish day. We're going to have fish. Yeah, you like fish.
It's 9.45 a.m. and this is what's going on with the food that I put out for the raccoons last night. So last night I put out four peanut butter sandwiches. There are only two left. There were eight halves. There's only four. I put out 15 cookies. There's only seven left, so eight of them were eaten. And I put out a whole overripe banana and it looks like maybe a fourth of the banana was eaten. So about half of the food that I put out was eaten. I was not eaten by raccoons. It was eaten by a possum and two skunks. Um, the theory was that if you put out food for the raccoons, the raccoons will stay away from the cat's food. Not only did they stay away from the cat's food, but they stayed away from the entire yard yesterday. There was no raccoons on camera. So it'll be interesting to see what will happen today. I'm just gonna leave this here right now. It's 9.55 a.m. And I just refilled the water bowl outside. And the inside cats finished their breakfast. They're having some earthborn holistic um, fish in a can. And I just put out some food for Hydrax and Ditto. And as you just saw, I put out two plates of food. And they want to eat on the same plate. Okay, Ditto just moved over to his own plate. Ditto likes to be around Hydrox, and Hydrox looks out for Ditto. So, for example, this morning, Hydrox called for Ditto again when I went outside to fill up the water bowl and to see what was going on with the raccoon table. Hydrox started meowing, and he was not meowing for me, he was meowing for Ditto. And when he does that, he calls Ditto over, and then Ditto shows up, and they eat breakfast together. I don't know where Ditto's been hanging out. As the weather gets warmer, um, he spends less time in the heated shelter. It's 10.08 a.m. and there's Ditto. He's eating some food. And there's Hydrax. He's eating some food. I don't want to disturb them. So I have the door closed. Because Ditto can be a little bit of a show-off when I'm around. Kind of like Boo. This plate of food was finished, and this plate of food was finished. Sounds like Hydrax wants some more food. Let's go check on the other feeder. There's a whole bunch of dry food in the automatic feeder. And here's what's going on with the raccoon food. So, most of the cookies have been left here. Um, two halves of peanut butter sandwiches have been eaten. So that's a whole sandwich. The banana pieces are still here. And it looks like most of the peeps are still here. I see four peeps or three and a half peeps. The water's really dirty because the raccoons were dunking their food in the water. It's 1 p.m. and look at what's going on here. This is where Hydrox likes to lay by the side of the house. Look at all these crocuses that have come up. And this is, this is also where Hydrox likes to lay underneath where the solar panels are. And look, there's more crocuses. It's 1.37 p.m. I just walked into Boo's room. He's taking a bath on his day sofa. He's so funny. He loves this day sofa, right, Boo? I have to put the side of it down for him because then he'll get better sun. Both sides uh, are adjustable, so you can put both sides up and it's a day sofa. And you could put one side down and you have a chase lounge. And you can put both sides down, and then you have a bed. Right, Boo? Boo says, why are you disturbing me? I'm trying to take a bath. Boo, because you look so cute. You look so cute, Boo. This is what's going on with today's wildlife platter. So there are some rocks in the middle uh, to keep it from blowing away. And then uh, starting on the bottom, we have some grape jelly sandwiches. And then we have some peanuts. We have an apple that's cut up. We have a graham cracker. We have a hot dog. And then we have a clementine or a tangerine. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos. And please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.